myself in a fun run that's helping the entire community. We have Holly with Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump organization, and Diane from Try for the Cure AZ are here with more. Um, there are so many programs that you offer through your organization. Tell us about that, We Holly. do. We're super excited. We are very, very passionate about our education program. Yes. We provide facts, screening guidelines, prevention tips, and then we also have a wig program to provide free wigs for breast cancer wow. patients, a free mammogram program, and diagnostic program testing for women in need, and we also have a survivor support program. That's amazing. Is the community helping you in making a difference? Oh, yes. The community is so important to sustaining our programs yes. from volunteers coming out, people are attending our events, corporations sponsoring our events, companies donating to our live auction, and events like Diane with Try for a Cure I AZ. Know. Diane, tell us about this big event coming up. I really love this idea. Try for the Cure is such an amazing opportunity for the community to come out and swim bike and run to bring awareness to breast cancer as well as be a part of, of support for the breast cancer community here locally. Beautiful. Why did you guys start this event? Why did you start this event? Diane? Well, Tri Scottsdale Tri Club hosts the event. We've been doing it for 14 years and it was founded by Preston Miller and Lewis Elliott, who is a pro triathlete who lost his mom to breast cancer when he was 15. Oh my goodness. He just wanted to bring more women into the sport to bring more awareness to breast cancer. I love that. We yeah. want to help you. We want to be part of it. How do we sign up? So the race is this Sunday at Anthony Community Center. Race starts at 7 a.m. You can sign up online at tryforthecureaz.com or you can show up on race day and sign up. We're hoping that everybody comes out and um, either races or supports all of the athletes and the breast cancer survivors that are going to be crossing the finish line. Oh, that's wonderful. Like me. Yay. <laughs> like Holly. Holly's coming out to do our 5K. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, how do we prep for that? I mean, we don't want to be do no exercise in our life and then all of a sudden show up and try to do a 5K, right? We offer some free clinics and free training to get ready for our race. Um, just the past two weekends, we had our local coaches come out and do some uh, swim training with them. We gave them some instructions on how to do transition. Okay. We also then got them on their bikes. Very good. The nice thing about Try for the Cure is, is that you don't have to do a triathlon. If you're not ready for a triathlon, you can come out and you can just do the 5K with Love everybody it. else. It's Love awesome. It. And yes, and with um, Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump, would you mind running through the things that you're offering with your program one more time? Yes, and I, I do want to say thanks to Diane, we are able to sustain our programs. Last year, they gave a $10,000 donation to help sustain those programs. Again, our education program, our magazines are free. We have wellness workshops, our free wig program for breast cancer patients. They can go into a normal wig shop, select any wig of their choice up to $250, and we pay the bill. Our mammogram program, they can go online, fill out our application, and we will cover the mammogram, and we will cover up everything up until diagnosis and then direct them to treatment. And then our survivor program is the first Thursday, I'm sorry, the second Thursday of every month. Very good. Well, I can tell you that we have two cancer survivors in, in our family. My sister, survivor of stage 3B wow. inflammatory breast cancer. So thank oh, you for wow. yes. personally. Thank you so much. Again, everyone, uh, for more information, head to the websites right there on your screen.